It's time for our May capsule wardrobe, but not so much a capsule. If, you, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know it's actually a collection of clothes that I ent <laughs> intend to wear in, in May. So just, just swapping my wardrobe out. For that, there is a couple of housekeeping items. One, this is a new t-shirt of mine in my wardrobe. And this is from Bowden. I also ordered in white and I'm waiting for that to arrive. But what's attractive about this is that it's an attractive neckline for us because it elongates our, our, our neck, this sort of slight boat neck. So yeah, this is navy, ordered it in white. I'll link it down below for the US, Canada and UK. Other thing is that Lily Silk have got on their biggest sale of the year until the 14th of May and asked me to mention to you that because you will then get a bigger discount. And my last housekeeping item is that I am putting some stuff up on Vinted and I'm Annie Raz 489 if you want to follow me over there. I'm going to show you a few blouses now. Spring-like coloured blouses, long-sleeved and short-sleeved. So, long-sleeved I have got. I've got this vibrancy for long-sleeved. Not that you're going to buy, be able to buy exactly the same, but you know what I'm going for, and I'll put some down below. Similar type of vibe. So we have an old Peruna blouse. I bought a second hand last year. Yeah, see, I do buy second hand. Um, I bought... This one came in a Nokiero or a Stitch Fix box. I thought that is part of my new colouring if I am a cool. That one from Mint Velvet. In theory, that's part of my new colouring. But if this suits me, then yellow doesn't. And if yellow suits me, then this doesn't. So there we go. So, see, that's why I think that I'm neutral, because I think they both look okay on me. Well, this switches Hobbs. A couple of blouses I wore last year. One, that's the one I had my colours done in. So if you watch the col my colours getting done video, which I'll link I'll link up here, I'm wearing this at the time, and the lady tells me that, um, you know, this, this looked good on me, this worked. Hey, Zara blouse that I wore last year, which in theory, my new colours, this is me. If I'm an autumn, it's not. Those of you who haven't seen them, you're probably intrigued now. So my, color, my getting my colours done videos up here somewhere. And then in the way of short sleeves, because we really hope that in May we're wearing short sleeves and maybe just, a, you know, in the, out in the sunshine, getting our arms a little bit of vitamin D or um, wearing, you know, a little jacket over the top. So short sleeved, I have got a bluish blouse. I've had this a few years. I um, love it, actually. I love the detail on it. Then the new this year is this blouse from Amazon, which you can buy in Canada, UK and USA. And I'll link it down below for you. Well, I hope it's still available anyway. I have shown it in another video. This one I wear this time of year, just navy with some dots on. And this is useful in May. I've worn it quite a bit over the years. And then a couple of shirts. I didn't put them in the blouse section. I kind of think because they're like collared plain collared shirts. I've got one linen one that I love wearing this time of year. And then this oversized one from Lily Silk. Talking of Lily Silk, I mentioned they've got big, bigger disc, big spring sale on at the moment. Another item of theirs that I have got in my capsule is this short sleeve knitted top with a collar in navy and um, yeah, navy and cream, ivory. T-shirts, t-shirt time of year, hence this one. Although it's actually cold today, <laughs> 11 degrees, and I'm feeling a little bit chilly. We've got some plain white and navy and black t-shirts. Now the t-shirts that I like are Amazon's Essentials, which I'll link down below for you. And they come in packs of two, so you can mix and match and choose the colours that you're uh, looking to buy. And sometimes they come with a pack with some stripes. On top of that, I've got a t-shirt that's got a bit of graphic design. I think it's a bit of grown-up graphic design. A Breton-style t-shirt. And what else? I think, oh yeah, for fun, it just says Liberate Cider. The uh, reason I've got that out is because when I went to Scotland last September, I took this and enjoyed wearing it when I was away. And if I go away again in May, I thought it'd be quite nice to take it and just sort of, you know, take a take a t-shirt from home from one of our local sort of um, venues, and then uh, I know just have it with me so that when I go to one where I am, it's just playing really. There's a graphic tee I've got from Marks and Spencer's last year. I doubt whether this one with Brooklyn Bridge is still available. I have to say though, a bit of a distraction, story time. I love Brooklyn Bridge. I had a fantastic walk across it. I took some great photos of Brooklyn Bridge, which are actually up on my wall because I'm a real B Bridges fan. And so I just could not resist getting a Brooklyn Bridge t-shirt. Then I pulled out a, a mint or sage colored t-shirt from Cup She from this year as well. This looks great with cargo pants. It looks great with white jeans. It's gonna look good with navy chinos and navy jeans. Then there's a t-shirt that I got from Marks and Spencer's last year, was it the year before, that when it gets to, it's linen. So when it gets to real hot summer, it's too hot. But May, late April, early May, it's perfect weight. 
time of year maybe for for a jumpsuit just for kind of like shopping or going out easy pull on easy wear just to go out and do things you're doing out no task so I've pulled out the jumpsuit from Cupshe there's a story behind this is March in the March last year we had a heat wave so I ended up wearing a dress so March's capsule through to now I've got this dress out but I still haven't worn it it's still not been warm enough to wear it maybe in May it will but it'll probably be so warm suddenly get really warm and I Long sleeves won't be any good and I'll be into short sleeved dresses. Still, it's there. Another dress I bought years ago from Next that I haven't had much wear out of. It's quite thick from, I mean, it's thick denim. So it's, you know, short sleeve dress that's thick doesn't really correspond, you know? You, you want a short sleeve dress, you want it to be thin. But in a thick dress, you want it to be long sleeved because you need it when the weather's cooler. So this is the problem with this dress. So um, I'm giving it another go in May. If oh, this May I still don't wear it, I'll end up selling it. Well, let's get this lot done. These seem to be green and brown. So I've got a beige sweater vest. I have got a green cardigan, moss green. I've got a moss green jumper. I have got a beige cardigan. And I have got another sweater vest in cream. So all very spring-like neutrals, aren't they? But then there's a jumper that I wear from May onwards, and it's this pink one. I like this because it's a summery colour, spring and summer colour, but it's warm enough to keep me, um, you know, keep the chill off on those cool summer evenings and spring days. So I tend to wear this from May through to about uh, late August, early September. So from now on, you're going to see this. There's still a debate as to whether yellow suits me or not. I've got a mustardy yellowy cardigan but I haven't worn so far this year so now will be the right time to wear it. I've popped it over a t-shirt that I have bought this year and I've just found this hanging in my wardrobe waiting so I've obviously paired it to, to, to wear it at some point so as soon as the wa weather warms up a little bit maybe this will be going on but I bought this t-shirt as part of International Women's Day from Sainsbury's. There's just little pictures of women on it but it's quite colourful I think it's going to go well with this and it'll also go well with Let's have a play because it will also go well with that t-shirt will go well with this jacket as well. In the UK that t-shirt might still be available and if it is I'll link it down below. Probably not in store but it might be available online. They bought it out in children's as well so if you've got grandchildren and it's still available as well. And talking of yellow there is this jumper that I absolutely love from Jaws and uh, I haven't worn it again this year because I've been put off wearing yellow because I'm not sure if it does suit me. You know given there's this debate as to whether I'm cool or warm and if I'm cool I shouldn't be wearing yellow and then other people say yellow you look lovely in yellow so um but I actually think this looks good on me and I know a lot of you are saying no you're warm not cool so there's <laughs> still a debate over that I think I'm just plain neutral I'm just going to wear what suits me really I think and I think this suits me so I'm going to wear it jackets I have pulled out a bit of in the way of colourful jackets but there's also some neutrals in the way of colourful jackets we have got a, a red and we have got a pink. These are trending at the moment, these sort of colourful pink denim -y jackets. I do buy secondhand clothes by the way, that pink one is secondhand to me. Um, this is another jacket I've bought recently secondhand, I bought this on Vinted, so that is coming out, it's quite lightweight. Then there's a wintry tweedy jacket, now the reason I am going to have this in May is because I may be going away in May where this type of jacket would be useful and I'm not sure what the weather's going to be when I go so I want to keep it handy because if um, if it's coolish this would look good uh, with some trousers I'm planning to wear to look quite smart. So this is the, tweed, the on trend sort of tweedy jacket but I bought this second hand in a charity shop. I did a video on it actually, I'll link it up here, it's very old, I was very amateur but you can see me uh, getting that and then styling it. Anyway, um, a couple of years ago I bought this jacket from H&M that's going to come out, nice neutral spring colour. This time of year I find my camel, um, you know, what is it, camel leather jacket, that's what it is, it's a leather jacket, useful. Also, what would be useful is just a navy blazer and also a camel blazer. So trousers are going to be, looking at what I wore last May, white jeans I wore a lot. In fact, I did, I ended up doing a white jeans video, which I'll link here. Um, chinos, time here for chinos. I had to get rid of some of my chinos um, because they're too big for me because of my weight loss and so I have got some new ones from Marks and Spencers that I'll be wearing which are just like striped chinos. Um, cargo pants as well, time of year for cargo pants before it gets too hot and we're into shorts and skirts and dresses. So cargo pants, green, khaki, olive, cargo pants I'll be wearing and some navy trousers. 